here 25 centuries ago on the island of Samos and in the other Greek colonies which had grown up in the busy Aegean Sea, there was a glorious awakening. Suddenly there were people who believed that everything was made of atoms, that human beings and other animals had evolved from simpler forms, that diseases were not caused by demons or the gods, that the Earth was only a planet going around a sun which was very far away. This revolution made cosmos out of chaos. Here, in the 6th century BC, a new idea developed, one of the great ideas of the human species. It was argued that the universe was knowable. Why? Because it was ordered, because there are regularities in nature which permit its secrets to be uncovered. Nature was not entirely unpredictable. There were rules which even she had to obey. This ordered and admirable character of the universe was called cosmos. And it was set in stark contradiction to the idea of chaos. This was the first conflict of which we know between science and mysticism, between nature and the gods. But why here? Why in these remote islands and inlets of the Eastern Mediterranean? Why not in the great cities of India or Egypt, Babylon, China, Mesoamerica? Because they were all at the center of old empires. They were set in their ways, hostile to new ideas. But here, in Ionia, were a multitude of newly colonized islands and city-states. Isolation, even if incomplete, promotes diversity. No single concentration of power could enforce conformity. Free inquiry became possible. They were beyond the frontiers of the empires. The merchants and tourists and sailors of Africa, Asia, and Europe met in the harbors of Ionia to exchange goods and stories and ideas. There was a vigorous and heady interaction of many traditions, prejudices, languages, and gods. These people were ready to experiment. Once you are open to questioning rituals and time-honored practices, you find that one question leads to another. 